Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Libra love prediction reading for March 18th through March 24th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my peaceful, loving, kind, sweet, fun Libras. Show me, spirit guys, what's going on my Libras? Show me, Libras, what you got going on. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups. The Tower. And the King of Wands. Hmm. Ooh, Libra. This is a breakup. This is a breakup. And I and, and this is a breakup that's that's hurtful. This is a breakup. This oof. This is an ending. This is an angry ending. This is a I I mmm. This is just a very, very, uh, an ending. I don't even know how else to say it. You're the Queen of Cups that's leading this reading. This this Queen of Cups has a lot of energy. You, you're tired of getting walked on. You're tired of giving and not getting back. I just read this with someone, another sign too. But um, I don't know who that was. But, but you are, maybe it was Pisces. I don't know. Nonetheless, you are tired of giving your heart space to someone and not getting the love back. Because the Ten of Swords is here, which means it's an ending. This is an ending. The Queen of Cups is it's an ending. Um, it's an ending to you putting you're no longer giving giving everything to someone or giving someone everything, giving all of your heart, all of your time, all of your goodness to someone. You've had enough. You've had enough. This was someone. This is this is deep too because, whoo, see the Ten of Swords and see the ten, the Tower here. The Ten of Cups is in the middle. This I'm going to say I'm I'm going to say this was either a husband. Or a significant other that you've been with had been with for a long time. But this person took you for granted. They didn't, you know, your kindness. They took you for weakness. You gave so much to them. You were there for them. But and at one time this was just a good relationship. No longer though, because this is an angry ending. This is an angry ending. But here's this King of Wands on the end. And that leads me to believe that this was a husband. Or a, very, or a significant other that you have been with for quite some time. I want to tell you, this is, I, I even want to go out and say this may have been, this is a divorce. This is a divorce. This is a, this is an ending. It's an ending to a love relationship. It's an ending to a, a family. It's an ending to everything. But this tower here is just, oof, it's just angry. It's just like a sudden ending too. It's almost like you just said enough. <laughs> that's I hear, I, that's what the spirit guys are telling me. You're saying enough. You know, how many times do you give him a, another chance? Enough. You're not happy. You're unhappy. You're tired of getting walked on. You're tired of him not uh, taking advantage of you, of you. Enough. That's what I just hear. Enough. And like I said, I think this is a divorce. This is a divorce. Um, enough. And when if it's not a divorce with a, a legal divorce, it is a divorce with the person that's been a long time partner with you. But you've had enough. And I just hear... The spirit guys just saying, enough. You've had enough. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading just to see what the spirit guys, additional information the spirit guys want you to know. Let me clarify the reading just to see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know. Let's see. Why is this queen of cups here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the queen of cups here? Show me spirit guys. Huh. Burdens issues yeah you're tired of dealing with his issues i read this i'm was for another sign you're tired of dealing with his issues i'm going to tell you that that ten of wands you're tired of dealing you're, he's 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 a burden he, he's just this man is just a burden on you it's, it's been like this 
it is a very heavy. This is a very heavy reading. This is a very heavy reading. Um, there's just issues, issues all around. Let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit guys. Why is the Ten of Swords here for my Libra? Show me. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're about to be single. Nine of Pentacles is single, independent, doing your own thing. I told you, you said enough. It's all I can say is enough. You're moving on enough. You're not putting up with him anymore. You're no longer taking this. You're no longer going to put up with whatever he says, whatever he does. No matter what he does, you're done. I just see you're enough. I'm done. You're just done. You're no longer going to put up with this. You aren't. Let's see why this Ten of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Show me why the Ten of Cups is here for my Libras. Yeah, see, look at that two of cups. At one time, this relationship was everything. It was unity. It was love. It was, I can't keep my hands off of each other. It was being in love. It was just everything. The family, this ten of cups here, you're happily ever after. But the happily ever after is gone. The happily ever after is gone. You had enough. The happily ever after is no more. It's no more. Let's see why this tower card is here. Let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the tower card here? Wow. Look at the hermit card. This is a this is a deep, this is a heavy read. The hermit card. The hermit card can represent a Virgo sun sign, but the hermit card is also a dark night of the soul. The hermit card is saying that right now you're in this darkness. You're in this darkness because you 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 gave up on this person. You know, you never thought that you would be at this place with this person. You never thought that you would ever be at this place with this person because it was so much love here in the past. In the middle of the reading, there was so much love here. You never, ever thought, but you ended this as a sudden ending too. You an angry ending, but you never, ever thought that this person would, that you would ever go through this with him. With him. You didn't think that. You never thought that. So let's see why this King of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the King of Wands here? Show me. Why is the King of Wands here? Let's see. Death. Transformation. Can be a Scorpio sun sign as well. Ah. <sighs> All I can say is this is a very, I feel you, whomever I'm reading for, this is a very, very heavy read. It's a heavy read because you've had to release something and give up on something that you truly at one time loved. Let's start at the very beginning, the Queen of Cups. But you know, I hear enough that Queen of Cups, you know, your heart space, you have a wonderful heart space. You have a wonderful giving energy. And I see this Queen of Cups here and it's saying enough, enough, you've had enough. There's a Ten of Wands here. And the Ten of Wands means there's burdens. There's burdens here. There's um, there's issues here. Because you know what? You've given so much. I just see someone that's given so much. You have nothing left to give. You've given everything. That's why you, you have to get yourself back. You're trying to get your independence back. Your freedom back. Your thinking back. Because every it's, for a long time, it's just been about him. For a long time, it's just been about him. And here's this Ten of Swords. This is an ending. This is an ending never to look back. This is an ending. And the thing about this reading is the reason it's so heavy is because at one time there was so much love here. This was your happily ever after. This was your happily ever after. You guys could have unity, the same morals, the same values. You couldn't keep your hands off each other. It was that kind of relationship. And now here you are here where you are now. A sudden ending. This ended. You're, and it's not so much sudden, but it's an angry ending. It's an ending after all of the mess that you've been through. It's an ending where you're finally saying enough. And here's the, the darkness that you have over you because that hermit card is here. And the hermit card is looking for the light in the, in, in the darkness. Looking for the light in darkness because right now you're in a darkness. Because how did this go from so, so good to so bad? How? This person's a king of wands, and I'm going to say it was your husband. This could be a divorce, a separation.
But it's, there's a transformation. The death card is there. And that's a transformation that's going on. Yeah, you're definitely ending something with someone that you've been with for a long time. Even if you were not married to him, you were with him. You have been with him for a long time. That death card there is a Scorpio sun sign. It's a transformation. A transformation. Moving on. Moving on. And, and it's it, you're moving on quickly because you enough. This could have been a husband. This could have been a divorce. But I'm just saying, let's start the very be. This is just how this Queen of Cups. You see how this Queen of Cups here? You were given everything. Enough. Just enough with this King of Wands here. And that death card. That King of Wands and that death card. Let's see. Show me, spirit guys. Give me oracles. Show me oracles. Show me. What do you want to show me about this relationship? Show me oracles. What do you want to show me? Let's see. Let's see, oracles. Wow. First card out is a year from now. A year from now is going to be freedom for you. I'm just going to be very honest. It's going to be free freedom for you. It's going to be freedom from this this what you've been through, this darkness. You will have come out of the darkness. You will have come out of darkness. I want to pull this card too because it's coming out. Recovery. You will have recovered from this. You have rec you will have recovered from this. And here's here's one card that I, you know, and I I pull this card because in order for you to recover. In order for you to grow, you have got to forgive. You cannot hold Scorpio energy, that revengeful energy against him. You've got to forgive. Even though he put you through H E double hockey stick, he 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 he, he I mean he hurt you something bad. And I and I think he just hurt because you're just hurt. He hurt you really, really bad. But you've got to forgive him in order for you to move on. You've got to forgive him and then forgive yourself. You've got to forgive him in order for you to move on. You really do. And this last card that I'm going to pull, which is very important to me, and I always say this, is meditation brings answers. And meditation brings answers nothing more than prayer. Prayer. Prayer works. Prayer gets you out of this darkness that you're in when it comes to him. But remember the first card I pulled a year from now. It might take a while, but you're going to heal from this. You're going to heal from this. And and you'll be you'll be good, but you've got to you've got to forgive. You've got you're gonna recover, and you've got to pray. Whatever however you pray, whether you put out candles, whether you pray to Buddha, I don't care. You've got to whatever your higher higher power is. You've got to take this hurt to them and give it to him. And that's what I have for you, Libra, for your love prediction reading. 